So it's still plugged in direct to the dump load. And I was just showing you what happened with the voltage. It drops down to about six and then the wind kicks it in again. And it just does this. So all the power's still going to the smaller of the two dump loads. And what I've noticed is the top of the sand there, 16, the side of the bucket is between hang on, 40. Yeah, 40 degrees, so all the heat is definitely spreading out. Just see if it dies down again. And once we get a gust, it just does that and it send, it's sending all the energy from the turbine straight to the dump load. Seems to be hitting around 18 mile an hour at the minute. All the heat still going, sorry, all the power still going straight to the dump load. And that's what happens when it drops down to about 6 volts. Just wait for a gust. Thought about it. No, it don't want to go bingo. So it's been going 95 minutes and it's definitely working because we're getting a reading around the side here. 50, above 50. And you can feel it's getting nice and warm. There's a lull in the wind. See if we get a gust.
Greetings friends, it's now Wednesday and it's a pretty horrible day and we're supposed to be getting some good wind for about four hours. Uh, kind of ran out of wind yesterday, just going to show you where the power's going. That's what the temperature is at the sand, 11. See if we get gust at all. Anyway, we'll come back and should be getting windy in about half an hour. It's a filthy day, it's slowed down a bit now, but it's just starting to get up to speed. There you go. Let's go see what the meter's saying. Woo, that's more like it. There's a gust. Woo! Remember all that's going straight into the, straight into the bucket. I'm hoping it'll be windy for an hour or so and then we can take the temperature of it. I don't know if you can see some red dust here. That's basically from where it's been in close contact with the dump load and it's turned the sand brown. Anyway, hopefully it'll get windier and we'll come back to try and get this nice and warm. Unfortunately, I had to cut the test short because there seems to be a rather loud, something going on with the chain, you'll see in a second. It was kind of working, but there's obviously a bolt come loose and uh, it ain't going to work, so cheers.